Hey guys, welcome to part 10 of my discord.py making a discord bot in Python tutorial. In this video we're going to go over reactions and how to sort of work with, not work with, but how to sort of uh, run commands or code, run code when a reaction is detected. Uh, we're going to make use of two events. We're going to create the on reaction add event and the on reaction remove event. Um, there is a third reaction event as far as I'm concerned. It's called on reaction clear. Um, essentially what that does is it's called whenever a message has all of the reactions removed from it. And uh, I personally don't use it a lot, so I'm not going to create a function for it, at least in this video. If you have any questions about it, you can ask me. You can go to the uh, discord.py official discord. But uh, just keep in mind that if that's the function or the event that you're looking to create, we're not going to be going over that in this video, just the reaction add and reaction um, remove. So let's go into them, or let's start programming. <laughs> so the first one we're going to create is the on reaction add. And essentially what that function or what that event detects is when a reaction is added. So let's create our event, client.event, async def, whoops, on reaction add. And this function takes in two parameters. One, the reaction itself, and two, the user. So all I'm going to make these functions do, or these events do, is really just say, like when a reaction is added, a reaction is removed, it's just going to say, um, I don't know, the person has added um, the, like this reaction to this message, or something like that. So how we would do that is we're just going to say channel is equal to reaction dot message dot channel so we can take the channel straight from the reaction uh, and then we're just going to say await client send message pass in the channel and I'm just going to say something like um, that will be the user has added that reaction to the message and then the message in there so I'm going to format the string now, and I'm going to say user.name, and I can take user from this parameter that was passed in here. I'm going to say reaction.emoji for the second part here. Um, essentially what reaction.emoji is, is it takes sort of the string value of the emoji. Like for example, let's say you put in the, I don't know, fire emoji. You'd put colon fire colon, right? Assuming you didn't click through it on Discord or whatever, if you typed it out, it'd be colon fire colon. Um, it'll give you that string, and then I can throw it right in there and have the bot type it out itself. Um, so reaction.emoji, and lastly, reaction.message.content. So we can actually access the message that was sent through the reaction because the reaction was attached to the message. Keep in mind this isn't the message that, uh, or sorry, this isn't just any message like a recent message or something like that. That's specifically the message that's attached to, attached to the reaction. It's not like the most recent message or anything like that. Nothing confusing. It's specifically the one related to the reaction. Should be pretty self-explanatory, but honestly, I probably confused you even more. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it. I'm actually going to make the second function before we go into testing it, simply because this is so short. I can honestly copy this and just paste it into the body of the next function. The client dot event async def on reaction remove reaction whoops user and we'll just paste this in and says or and say removed so it'll be user has removed that emoji from the message blah 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 so let's run it hopefully there are no errors looks good and so I don't know let's say a message test and if I add a this thing, Lucas has added fire emoji thing to the message test. And just here, we can even change it up. We can say, hello world, just so you know that this is working. And I'll even try something else. I'll put uh, this. Yeah. So as you can see, it's sort of reiterated its own message because I've added it to a message that the bot has said. So it says, Lucas has added to the message 
Lucas has added this to the message, right? So it's just sort of looping over itself. That might have been confusing. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it's just to sort of prove that it works. And uh, yeah, that's essentially how you sort of detect reactions. Again, there is that third function. I'm not entirely sure if there's any more. There might be different ones in the discord.py rewrite or whatever, but we don't go into that on this channel. Um, but yeah, that's basically it in terms of reacting to uh, different reactions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did, and uh, comment any suggestions for future videos. Other than that, that's it. See you later. Bye.